If your preferred virtual assistant comes from the world of Halo, great news! She's not confined to Windows Phone anymore. I'm Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, and this is a quick look at Microsoft's Cortana Virtual Assistant for Android. This is a pre-release version of Cortana that was leaked earlier today, so while it's been widely reported on and seems nearly complete, keep in mind that it's technically non-final. We're using it on a Galaxy S6 Active, and we've seen reports of it running well on the OnePlus One and Note 4. If you want to try it out, we'll drop the link in the description. Download it at your own risk. As you might expect, Cortana on Android is an awful lot like Cortana on Windows Phone. In addition to the voice prompt, you now get a list of items Cortana thinks you'll find useful when you fire up the virtual assistant, like local news, recommended news, trending stories based on readership and your interests, local weather, movies playing nearby, and so on. If it sounds an awful lot like Google Now, it is. Except while Google Now often keeps its cards to a minimum, Cortana seems to err on the side of abundance. Cortana is also much more granular than Google's Assistant. If you never want to see finance or sports cards, for example, you can turn them off, which is nice. You can also edit your favorite places or change how Cortana addresses you. It's all handled through Cortana's Notebook, which syncs across devices using your Microsoft or Outlook account. This seems to be a pretty close to final build because Cortana works well on the S6 Active. You can set alarms by voice, ask her to show you what your appointment calendar looks like, ask her questions about the universe, ask her what to do tonight, and yeah, ask her to tell you a joke. What you can't do is some of the deeper level stuff you can do on Windows Phone, like asking Cortana to remind you of something the next time you talk to someone specific in your address book or asking her what song is playing on a nearby radio. You also can't launch her via the Hey Cortana voice command or by using the home key. But if you have a phone with an assignable hardware button like this one, you can use that. At the moment, there's no support for Samsung's multi-window either, but maybe that'll change in a future release. How well Cortana will integrate into Android in its final incarnation remains to be seen. Again, this is just a pre-release version. But considering its added granularity of options and its closer integration with folks who prefer a Microsoft ecosystem to a Google one, well, you can bet we'll be revisiting that question again very soon. For more in-depth discussion of Cortana on Android, check out this week's episode of the PocketNow Weekly Podcast and also see our recent Windows Phone reviews at PocketNow.com. Till next time, this has been Michael Fisher with PocketNow reminding you to take care of your AI. She might just save you from the covenant one day. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.